Hey guys, what's up? So this is um, Nate back here to plant this little gem, dwarf magnolia. Um, this is the first one we got. They get about 30 feet tall and 15 feet wide. Um, they have really big white flowers. Let me see if I can find a good one. This one's pretty good, and they smell amazing. It smells so good, it's like lemon, lemon scented. Um, we had one of our weeping cherry trees died, and we're gonna put it by the pool because it smells so good. That's a sweet bay magnolia, which they have smaller flowers and they don't last as long. Um, these have big flowers and they supposedly last longer too. Now one problem I heard with these is they have these big leathery leaves and um, they don't decompose. So they also fall throughout the year and not just during um, the fall season. So I guess you have to clean them up. I don't know if you can mow over them or not. Um, like I said, this is our first one, but they're also beautiful leaves too. And another thing is, I'm pretty sure these last throughout the winter. Like they keep their leaves during the winter. So I'm gonna plant this and show you guys putting it in. I'm just gonna put it ground level and um, I have some compost stuff I'm gonna put in there. The hole's nice and big from the previous tree. And hopefully this gives us a lot of good smell around our pool. Into the hole. We gotta make sure that it's level with the ground and that it's facing the way we want it to face. It. Taxi! Okay, so it is literally pure mud. So, um,. I'm gonna have to wait to finish it, but looks good though. Gotta wait for everything to dry up. It's been like, um, we, we live in Southeastern PA and it's been raining for like a month straight and it's September, it's, look at the grass. It's been really weird, but um, I'm gonna finish covering it when it dries up and then mulch it and hopefully it gives us beauty and a bunch of blooms in the years to come. Thanks for watching. Peace.